fertility medication and I just had my doctor's appointment today to kind of go over what my follicles look like and all that so went in had my ultrasound done the doctor said he liked the size and shape of one better than the other but nonetheless two of them um, I went over with him the fact that last month it looks like I based off of LH test that I didn't ovulate until like four days after his estimate of when I was supposed to ovulate and he decided to have me come back today is Friday he wants me to come back on Monday to look at my ovaries again and see if everything's working the way it's supposed to and if I am ovulating on time if I'm not ovulating on time then what they're gonna do is give me some sort of shot and he really didn't go into much further detail on that he just said that would be our next step um, my lining was thicker this time compared to what it was last time and it was visible enough that I could actually see it and I don't necessarily know um, what I'm looking for when I look at an ultrasound but it was something that even I could notice in terms of coloring because it was more of a thick white line this time um, so other than that that's really my update for today I uh, had my Lextrazole I think that's how you say it Lextrazole Lextrazole anyway took that this month um, I ended up like I said in the last video I did get my cycle took my medication I haven't had any spotting which is great um, the medication will, didn't cause me too much pain this time. I had a little bit of cramping on day five of the medication, but it wasn't anything unbearable. Um, and now here we are. I'm cycle day 11, and we will see um, what happens on Monday. So I'll hop on here Monday and update you guys as to what the doctor says, and we'll go from there. Talk with you soon. Hey y'all, so I wanted to hop on here really quick and talk with you about what is going on as of today. So I had a doctor's appointment this morning. Um, I went in, got my ultrasound done, and my follicles were at 19 millimeters compared to the 14 millimeters that they were at on Friday. So the doctor said it appears that I'm right on track for where I need to be in terms of my um, follicle size and my endometrium is the thickness that it's supposed to be as well. So all in all, I had um, a really good appointment this morning and he said that my ovulation date should be either Tuesday or Wednesday of this week. Today is Monday. So I will start tracking tomorrow and then again on Wednesday, of course, and we will see um, if his prediction is right. So I will hop on here and update you guys once I have more information on Tuesday or Wednesday. Hey y'all, I wanted to hop on here really quick and update you as to what's going on. Today is day 18 of my cycle. I actually ovulated yesterday and I will put a picture of what my strips look like right up there. Um, but basically, I tested first thing in the morning. Wasn't a positive yet, but you could tell it was about to be. And then I tested again at 10 and it was slightly positive. And then at three, it was a full blown strong positive. So um, did get a positive ovulation reading yesterday. I took a test this morning and it's still showing positive. I'm not sure if I have ovulated already. I'm assuming it's gonna come within the next couple of days. So we tried last night and we're gonna try again tonight. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, that's my update for you guys right now. Symptom wise, I haven't had the same ovulation symptoms that I did last cycle. Last cycle, I was very, very, very crampy on one side. I haven't had that happen this time. So we will see, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but yeah. Hey guys, I wanted to hop on here really quick and update you as to what is going on. Um, I'm not even sure what day I'm at right now in my cycle, but um, I I don't think I touched on this the last time. If I did, then I'm just repeating myself, but I did not cramp this time when I ovulated, so I'm a little bit nervous about that. I'm trying not to get myself all worked up. I have cramped in the past. I've mentioned that in pretty much every single one of these videos that I've put up. 
um, but for some reason this time I didn't. I still got my positive ovulation test, so didn't cramp. That's one thing I've got to ask my doctor about when I go back. The other thing I wanted to touch on is um, just kind of like a overall well-being check-in. I've made so many of these videos and I talk about, you know, how I'm feeling in terms of pain or symptoms, but I haven't really discussed that often mentally where I'm at or emotionally where I'm at. And honestly, in terms of trying, I feel like this month has been a month that I've been most at peace. Um, and it's not, it's not because I have this overall like feeling like, oh, this is going to be my month. It's not that. I just very much have come to an understanding that I have a good life and I have a great marriage and we've got food on the table. Life is good. And if I don't get pregnant right now, I don't need to stop enjoying the life that I have. I need to keep on living. I need to keep on being happy and just soaking up every minute that I have and pray and be hopeful for the day that comes when we finally get a biological child or adopt a child. But um, I feel like I've spent most of this year worrying about being pregnant or getting pregnant again. And it's consumed pretty much my entire 2020. We got pregnant in March and from March until now, either being pregnant or getting pregnant has been every just on my mind all the time and I'm I'm 24 years old that's a lot to carry as a 24 year old now don't get me wrong I was the one that made the decision to get pregnant my husband and I did like I don't mean you know I made that decision but I also am making the decision now that I have to live my life and I have to enjoy every single moment that I have and for so long in this pregnancy journey, post miscarriage, I have said everything as, well, if I'm not pregnant by X date, I'll do this. And I don't want to live that way anymore. It's not fair to me. It's not fair to my husband. It's not fair to my friends. It's not fair to my family. It's not fair to anybody for me to take one situation or scenario and put it on such a pedestal that I do not live my life. So with that being said, I, I challenge anybody else that's going through this and watching these videos or just so happens to stumble across this video, try and continue to be you. Try and continue to find joy because it's hard and you are going to have hard days. I had a really hard day yesterday and I'm about a month away from um, what would have been my due date. And I think that's part of the reason why I'm starting to have a couple of harder days is because I know it's coming. The hardest day is coming and I'm preparing myself for that mentally and emotionally. But what I can tell you is that I have decided that I am not going to spend however long it takes for me to get pregnant or however long it takes us to get approved for adoption or whatever life's plan is for us, I'm not going to spend my time sad anymore or stressed or obsessed with the idea of becoming a parent. And just from now on, I'm going to trust that what's meant to be will be. So sorry for that long you know, tangent. I just felt like what I'm going through, I know there's got to be someone out there that's feeling that same way. And, you know, to live every moment based off of, well, if I'm pregnant by X date, that's a really sad way to live. And I've missed out on a lot of fun things because I've been so worried about, well, what if I'm pregnant by this time? Um, so, like I said, you know, stay positive. You're going to get through this. I'm going to get through this. We are all going to make it. And whether our journey ends, you know, with a biological child, an adopted child, whatever the case may be, I am putting full faith in whatever is meant to happen will happen. So I will check in with you guys on my two week mark post ovulation and let you know if we've got a positive this month. Talk with you soon. 
Hey y'all, um, I am at day 31 of my cycle and I'm not pregnant. Um, I've taken tests, they were negative. Um, I have had some cramping this morning that is very much period like cramps. So I'm 90% sure my period will either start today or will start by this evening tomorrow morning. Um, nonetheless, I'm not pregnant this time. Um, I, I typically emotion wise, I'm okay. Once I figured out that I'm not pregnant, like, you know, it's the day of my period or the day before my period's about to start. I know what's coming. Um, because then I start mentally preparing for the next time and what my doctor and I can try this go round and things like that. Um, it's really my two week wait right towards the end of my two week wait when it's time for me to start testing that I get really anxious um, and, and sad and scared. So um, I'm fine right now, but it just means another month of kind of trying to figure out my body and figuring out why things just aren't working. So um, my next video is going to be, of course, starting my next cycle with, you know, what my doctor has recommended for this go round but I kind of wanted to go over with you guys what my plan is and what I want to consult my doctor on um so I've been taking a medication that is supposed to help my body ovulate and to be honest I don't think that it is necessarily doing that this go around like I told you guys I didn't cramp at all when I ovulated and that's something that has typically happened in the past um the month before this, those cramps were really noticeable. I mean, they were strong, um, and I don't have any symptoms at all this time. So, I don't think my body is ovulating the way that it's supposed to. The doctor mentioned before a shot that I could possibly do to kind of give my body that extra push to make it ovulate, and so that's one thing that I'm going to ask my doctor about, and I'm also a little bit concerned about blockage. I'm nervous about the fact that due to my miscarriage, maybe I've got some blockage that I don't know about um, in my tubes. And again, I'm not a doctor, I don't know, but it's one of those things that I think would be worth asking. I have heard people in the past talk about um, blockage and things like that, and it ended up being an easy fix in terms of um, doing a dye test and getting that taken care of. So I want to ask about that. And the last thing that I want to ask about is, um, I've mentioned you guys before, they have me come in and they'll tell me when I'm going to ovulate. And they had me come in the day before it was estimated that I would ovulate um, and I was about two days behind. Well, I didn't actually end up getting a positive test until that Thursday. I came in on a Monday, they told me I would ovulate Tuesday or Wednesday and I, I got a positive test on Thursday. So with all that being said, I wanna try to find out from the doctor if it would be best for me to come in once I've received that positive test. So I've got a couple of questions, a couple of things that I want to try and talk with him about, um, you know, just to really see what all my options are. But yeah, that's my update for this month. I am not pregnant. Um, but the journey goes on and we're gonna continue to try, continue to pray, and um, you know, fingers crossed one day we'll get a rainbow baby. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys um, in my next video. Bye.